Right, so starting off the video, we've just finished off an Anku task. I'm going to grab a task from Duradale, see if we can get, hopefully, Cave Kraken. Kursk's pretty decent task. And really good money, actually, so we can just AFK that for a little while. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was something good. Ooh, we could potentially get ourselves some chewed bones. Uh, not not third age, and not third age. Unfortunately, that clue was better than the first one, but it didn't really give us anything useful. Right after a few skips of tasks that I really didn't want to do, we've got a black demon task. Time to get some more Xanites. Completely didn't realize, but I've just picked up some ballista limbs. Um, that is one of the items I believe I need for the uh, heavy ballista. Still waiting for the spring and I believe the um. The actual heavy frame, so fingers crossed we can get those pretty soon. Well, damn it, I've just missed it, but we've just hit 95 strength. Uh, unfortunately, still no combat level yet. I believe we're, yeah, one more level to go, and then we finally, finally we'll get another combat level. I decided to sort of switch it up and go to normal Black Demons, because um, Demonics are fun and everything, but they're, well, they're not fun, they're good for money and everything, but they're a pain in the ass to kill. So I thought I'd switch it up come back to normal demons i really want to get another kraken task or a hellhound maybe like that so we're gonna see if we can get that so i'm just gonna get this task over and done with 48 left to go and yeah i'll see, probably see you once i get to 92 defense as well i'm gonna work on getting these all up pretty soon so we can get some decent combat stats so i managed to swap tasks uh, i went over to konar and got myself a kraken boss task unfortunately it is not um a normal Kraken task, so I can kill as many, like, 200 of them. But 35 is fine. See if we can get any drops in the 35 kills. Not expecting to get anything from that, because that is a very low chance of getting a drop. But yeah, we'll see how far we can go. And just a reminder, we are currently at 1843kc at Cave Kraken. Still no pet, unfortunately, but I think it's a 1 in 2500 drop. Maybe more. Probably a 1 in 2500 or 3000 drop. Uh... Correct me in the comments down below, but I believe that's what it is. Final crack and kill of the task. Unfortunately, no pet. Yeah, no pet, unfortunately. But yeah, that's another task to complete. Um, fingers crossed we can get an actual task pretty soon. Going to go back to Konar and get ourselves another task. Um, okay. Well, it's not a Basilisk jaw, but we've just managed to get another long bone from the Basilisk Knights. I believe that's my third one from these guys. Um, still only receives one jaw, unfortunately, but we're going to get plenty of these by the looks of it. Another hard casket. And more trash. 191 opened. Nice. Well, so the, for the longest time, I have had the KBD heads in my bank, um, but unfortunately, I've never had the points to be able to dye the Slayer helmets, uh, to, or combine the Slayer helmet with the heads to make the black Slayer helmet. Which is actually one of my favourite helmets in the game. So uh, what I'm actually going to do for the next few, probably like an hour or so, is just spend some time doing some point skipping. So I'm going to do nine tasks at Turiel, and then my tenth task is going to be at Kona or Duradale, depending on how I feel. Um, so we can get a big boost in points. Obviously, every time we get a hundred Slayer tasks. Uh, Every time we get 10 in a row, we get a big points boost. So I'm kind of hoping to do that pretty quickly. Um, so my plan is, yeah, to get a bunch of tasks done with Turiel and then switch over to Konar every 10 tasks just so we can finally get ourselves a Black Slayer Helm and so I can have a bunch of points um, so I don't have to worry about skipping tasks and stuff because I've been skipping a lot of tasks recently that I didn't wanna do, don't want to do, like Sukhoi and stuff. I know I could block them, but... I haven't had the points, so I've just been skipping them as I go. Um, every time I get a task that I don't want to do, I just skip it. Um, yeah, it's kind of been a running theme for the past few days. So yeah, we're going to go get a couple of tasks for two now, starting off with cave bugs. Right then, so we're back at T Kona for the 400th task. I completely forgot that I was on a Slayer streak, so it didn't actually reset. I thought it was going to reset back to one, but thankfully it didn't. It means we can get to 500 even faster and get a massive point boost, but we're going to start off with Smoke Devils, off to the... Thermonuclear, I think, because we've still got a few more bits to collect from him. And there is 200 KC at Thermi. Unfortunately, no drops at the moment at all from this boss, but we've got another 86 to go, so fingers crossed we can get at least one more drop. 
Hey, I think that's actually one of our first occult necklaces from this uh, thermonuclear. Almost at the end of the task, but we'll have it anyway. I'm not 100% sure if that is the only one we've ever received, but I don't remember check what the collection log said, so we probably already have one. Right, I just missed it, but we've just completed our Smoke Devils task in 30,000 Slayer XP, which is absolutely amazing, and got ourselves 450 Slayer points for our 400th task, which is amazing. That's exactly what I wanted to do with this uh, small Slayer grind. Um, but yeah, something I have to quickly show you. Um, we're going to head to the bank. Right, so before I started the Thermo grind, um, one of my friends messaged me and said he was taking a break from the game. So he asked me if I wanted to borrow a particular item. And you can probably see it in my inventory. The Twisted Bow. Um, so I think I need to actually use this up. So we're going to go grab another task from Kona. Hopefully it's a Hydra task. If not, I'm going to go do a bunch of Zora with the T-Bow. Uh, so I'll see you at Zora. Uh, at, um, Kona to see what we get. Right, come on Kona, give us that Hydra task. And Kuz, we could do that. It's quite a quick task, but we want a task for the Tebow. Thank you, that'd be lovely. Damn, that was a fast kill. <laughs> 1 minute 50. That was a decent kill. Oh, another personal best. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I feel like that was a really quick kill. One minute and eight seconds. Holy cow. <laughs> Right, so, so shortly after getting that last kill, unfortunately the servers went down for a little bit. And here's a tweet from Old School Runescape saying what happened. But yeah, let's get back on the grind. So one thing I've just noticed after logging back in, after the servers all went down and a bit funny, they've actually reset my personal best. It looks like there was a mini rollback, which is a pain in the ass. Because I got a 1 minute and 8 seconds PB. You would have seen it in one of the previous clips, but now I'm back up to 133. That's upset me, that has. I did so well with getting that one 108 PB and they've just gone and taken it away. Oh, that is so annoying. But anyway, we're going to continue Zora. We are, I am actually enjoying it at the moment. So we're going to see if we can get some decent loot. And also, ruin like loot, loot track is wrong as well then. So, yeah. Because apparently I'm missing like four kills. Uh, no, three kills from the tracker. So one of those was unfortunately our PB. That was a close one. That was way too close for comfort. 12 HP and no food. Oh no, I've got an uncut onyx drop. <laughs> that could have been a fang or a magic thing. Ah. <sighs> well, 1.5 mil added to the bank, I suppose. And that's 200 KC at Zora. Unfortunately, we don't get anything but the onyx. Let's go do something else. Right, so I just sold all of the uh, loot that we got from Zora and managed to get 7.5 mil, which isn't bad. I'm going to add that to the cash pile. We're at 66 mil now, so we're getting there. Um, not going to have enough to buy our own Tebow, but yeah, we're definitely getting there. I uh, just missed it, but there's 92 defense. We've just got a combat level and halfway to 99 defense, which is awesome. You see at the Kraken... Still no pets. Hopefully we get it in the next thousand kills because then we'll be at the drop rate. But yeah, this is still my favourite boss, just for those that didn't know. Right, so after a couple of attempts trying to get a Hydra task, we actually managed to get a Vampire's task in Darkmere. That means we can actually finally go kill the Vampires for a chance at a Blood Shard. Unfortunately, we only, get, we only managed to get 150 of these assigned, and I believe the drop rate for the Blood Shard is 1 in 1,500. Which is a shame, but what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go kill these off camera completely unless I get a shard. And I'm actually going to end the video off here because the video is getting a bit long and it's been in the making for a couple of weeks now. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you could leave, the, leave a like down below, that'd be really appreciated. If you want to see more content, that'd be great. Um, 
If you could hit the subscribe button as well, I would really appreciate that as well. We are on our way to 500 subscribers, and it would mean the world if we could actually get to that on this account, uh, on this channel. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.